Hola, no soy en Texas, pero a la gente que no quiere ver este vídeo entero... ¡Plácata! ¡Castañazo que te llevas! ¿Qué es lo que mi gente? We are back with another How to Speak Like video. Yo soy Ricky de Bilingüe Vlogs, el americano más dominicano para los que no me conocen. But today we're talking about how to speak like a Spaniard. The Spanish accent, el acento español. So if you have any Spanish friends from Spain, share this video with them. If you are from Spain, share with us. Other characteristics that are not mentioned in this video about how Spaniards speak, because we'd all like to know. I know that every single person from Spain does not speak like this, but I'm going off of what I have heard in my experience from people, from dealing with people from Spain. What people think of when they think of Spain. There's way more to it than just that. So, without further ado, let's get started. One of the first characteristics that I notice about Spaniards, some Spaniards, is that the S can be a regular S or it can be like an SH sound. For example, ¿Por qué no? Porque es peligroso. ¿Vale? ¿Vale? So you see there, it's like a S sound instead of S, S. Porque es peligroso. So that's one thing that I've noticed about some Spanish speakers from Spain. Another characteristic in Spain Spanish is that the G's and the J's are going to have the hockalooey sound. You know, gente, jota. But if you have a verb like gustar, it's still going to be gustar. But if it's gente, if it has the H sound, then it will not be H, it will be um, the, the G sound. Gente, genial. There's something very interesting about that sound that they actually do in Madrid, and that is that instead of saying es que, they may say eje, eje, and it sounds so weird, but it just really means es que. Es que yo no puedo ir a la tienda. Es que no puedo ir a la tienda. Okay, so they say the eje kind of sound. It's, yes, it's, it's, it's different. It's different. Another characteristic that, that I think all of you guys might know, and I think this really helps people in Spain to become excellent spellers because you have to know when to make this sound. You guys know, I'm talking about the C and the Z, the and theta. If your C is going to have a soft sound like an S in Latin American Spanish, Z always has that sound like an S in Latin American Spanish. In Spain, in most places, it's not really going to be the S sound, it's going to be the TH sound as in Thursday, Thursday, theta, the. So, for example, mi país España es una nación civilizada. Or, fuimos a una cita al cine. Fuimos a una cita al cine, ¿vale? Try to say that five times fast. ¿Qué quieres hacer con los zapatos? Those are a few characteristics of, I would say, standard Spain Spanish. A few more interesting things that make Spain Spanish different than Latin American Spanish would be the use of the vosotros form. I never, ever, ever teach the vosotros form on this channel because I teach Latin American Spanish, the, the Caribbean Spanish, especially Dominican, Puerto Rican, Cuban, anywhere that has that, that kind of accent, those kind of tones, I like to teach those kinds of Spanishes. So um, in Spain, most of them will use vosotros, vosotros. So what does that mean? That means that you have a whole other ending that you have to learn. Like, do you dance bachata? Bailas bachata. If I want to say, do you guys, do you all dance bachata? Vosotros bailáis bachata? Vosotros bailáis bachata? Instead of, tú bailas, or ustedes bailan bachata. Do you guys, do you guys dance bachata? Vosotros bailáis bachata. So it's a whole different ending. And it's like for every single tense, you have a different ending that you have to learn with vosotros. Um, it does exist in Spain. I don't care for it because most of the Spanish speaking world does not use it. So I don't teach it. So if you're looking to travel to Spain or learn Spain Spanish, you gotta know that. Or if you hear somebody from Spain speaking and they use those types of words, then just know that that's what they're saying. They're talking to a group of people, meaning you guys. Another different characteristic that I've heard and from Spain Spanish is that instead of using the preterite, not, th not that they never use the preterite, but they are more likely going to use the present perfect tense. Um, yo comí, yo he comido. Yo comí, yo he comido. No pasó nada de nada. No ha pasado nada de nada. So get used to the present perfect 
when you're dealing with Spain Spanish because they like to use that a lot more. And let's talk about uh, a few characteristics of different regions. I talk to people from Madrid sometimes. Instead of using el leísmo, they may use la instead of le. I know it's weird to think of, but that's that's what they do. You know, it's, it's crazy because they say that Spain has the most perfect Spanish, but they use the laísmo instead of le. So instead of saying yo quiero preguntarle, they might say if it's a girl. Quiero preguntarla. Or if it's a guy, quiero preguntarlo. Things like that. If you don't know about the um, la or le, you know, the indirect object pronoun, indirect object pronoun, my last video was actually on that topic going in depth with how to use them so that you can master it. So feel free to check that video out right up there. But anyways, also the the D sometimes in, in Madrid, when they say Madrid, like the, the name of the city, some of them will say Madrid, like make it like a TH sound again. So I'm not sure if that happens with all of the ending Ds, but I know with, with Madrid, it does happen. Madrid. Soy de Madrid. You guys already know. Yo estoy aficionado de la cultura dominicana, de cómo hablan los dominicanos. Y cómo habla la gente del Caribe también. How everybody speaks in the Caribbean. But did you know that that accent is not originated in the Caribbean. Many people will tell you that, oh, it came from the mixture of, of African descent and the European people and, and the native language there. And that's why the, the Caribbean people talk how they talk. Not really the case. Because if you look in, if you go to Spain and you go to Andalucía or Las Islas Canarias, you will find the Caribbean accent the same Caribbean accent that's in the Caribbean and in Panama, Colombia, Venezuela, um, Central America, uh, other parts of South America, that accent comes from Las Islas Canarias. It comes from Andalusia or like the Spanish say, Andalusia. Okay? So for example, if you see my videos where I talk about the Dominican accent, Puerto Rican, Cuban, uh, Panamanian, stuff like that, you will notice these same characteristics. The interbolic D, the, the D that's in between vowels at the end of a word will disappear when you're in Andalucía, when you are in Las Islas Canarias. So for example, complicado becomes complicado. The word nada could even become the word na, like in the Puerto Rican song, no hago más na. So that's, that comes straight from, from the south part and from the islands of, of Spain. A lot of people don't know that. Another example of that would be um, el ceseo. So I told you before about the C's and the Z's making the sound. So for example, um, nación en las Islas Canarias and in some parts of Andalusia, just like in the Caribbean, just like in Latin America itself, they won't say the sound like it's a nación, but they will say nación, just like we do over here in the Western Hemisphere. In Andalusia, sometimes in certain regions, they may keep the ceseo, but that means that everything is like a teteo. Like, like, let's just say if you have a word that, that starts with an S, even that will be a teteo. But then also, you have some regions where it's just a seseo, where everything is just an S. So the C's and Z's become S's. So it depends, depending on the region, you may hear a teteo for every single S sound there is out there, or you may hear a seseo for every single S, Z, C sound that's out there as well. So it just, it just really depends. Muy interesante, mi gente. Also, my favorite part, my favorite part is that with Andalucía and with Las Islas Canarias, sometimes in Andalucía, if you have a Z at the end or like a, an S sound at the end of a word or even maybe at the beginning after an E or something like that, they will either make an aspiration of the S, meaning it's gonna sound like an H. For example, um, estamo, estamo. It's gonna sound like that or they would just take it off. Cuando tenía tres años. Cuando tenía tres años. En las Islas Canarias. It's not really like it's a tone there. Um, you know, it's not like dragged out or exaggerated. Like, for example, if I were to say that in Dominican Spanish, it would be like, Cuando yo tenía tres años. But yeah, so the S can go away. The thing about Andalusian Spanish, I think this is kind of where the Dominican Spanish comes from. They like to cut their words. They like to say the short version. Um, the story that I heard behind this was that it's, it's really hot in Andalusia. So, you know, nobody wants to be out there talking all day. 
So they found a way to make their words shorter. That's just one version that I heard. There's other versions talking about it being a mixture of Arabic and stuff like that. And that's why they talk so differently than the regular Spain, uh, Castilian Spanish and stuff like that. But either way, guys, it's, it's still Spanish. It doesn't matter. The thing that does matter is that they do cut their words. For example, in Andalusia, it's just somebody, for somebody to say, come here. They may say, ven acá pa' acá. Wow, pa' acá. That's like para acá, like here. But we, we say that too in the, in Caribbean Spanish. Oh yeah, loca, ven pa' acá. So it's like that came from from over there in Spain. The last thing is that in las Islas Canarias, they don't use vosotros like that. I mean, some people probably might still use vosotros, but they don't really use vosotros. They use the uh, ustedes form as opposed to that. Time to talk about the Spain tone. The Spain tone is something that, um, you know, differentiates it from the other dialects, the other accents of Spanish. Um, it's more short as opposed to, let's say, in, in Dominican Spanish, the second to last syllable may be drawn out. Pero que lo que tu vas a But in Spain, it's like, es porque estamos haciendo, porque es una cosa diferente, es una cosa que estamos haciendo para darle más comida. So you see there, it's like, it's, it's short, and the little tone at the end is like, Nena, la nena, la nación de, de España muy civilizada, porque siempre estamos aquí trabajando muy duro. Ahora estoy viendo videos en YouTube, y me he dado cuenta de que todo el mundo quiere hablar como los españoles, porque tenemos el mejor acento de español. Todo el mundo quiere ser famoso como el Cejas, que es un comediante español. Parece que el resto de España quiere decir cosas de lo andaluce, como si fuéramos estúpidos. Pero la verdad es que somos una gente muy inteligente. Hay muchas personas que dicen que no, no les gusta el acento de, de del Caribe, como la República Dominicana, como Puerto Rico, como Cuba. Pero esa gente no sabe que ese acento viene de, 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 de mi isla, de la isla Canaria. Pero es la misma cosa y hablamos casi igualito a ellos. Alright guys, so that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to share, and also comment down below with what you thought about this video and also what accent you want to learn next. I already have a whole playlist full of videos for how to speak like this place or that place in Spanish. Which one's next? If you haven't already, go ahead and press that subscribe button and I'll see you guys on the next video. Nos fuimos.